I'm sharing progress on my DIY temperature control project. Um, so that's my heating and cooling. Uh, it's off. I added this new temperature sensor. I'll show you that in a second. And this little web UI, uh, which is actually on the internet, not here. So it's 70.59 degrees. Uh, let's turn it, let's heat the place. That fires the heater. I've built in a delay for some things um, because my heater has a delay when it turns on different valves and I feel like that's a good idea to recreate with a computer. This temperature sensor hooks, it's really uh, simple. It just hooks up to the 3.3 volt supply of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it just needs one resistor uh, between the GPIO pin and power. You have to read off GPIO pin 4. For some reason, none of the other GPIO pins work. Um, and as you can see, temperature changes. This is just a little shell loop that reads it and posts it to my web app. Uh, reads the temperature and posts it to the web app. It takes a while for the heater to get going. Uh, while we wait, I'll show you how the thermostat bit is looking. I have to do some rewiring. Uh, got a new case. This breadboard is unnecessary right now, but um, I originally tested the thermostat. I'm sorry, the temperature sensor here. Um, and I'd like to drop another one in place. My temperature sensor is pretty big, um, but there's one that's not waterproof, so it's really just got this waterproof um, protection around it. Uh, the non-waterproof one's actually cheaper, but took longer to ship. Uh, when I switch it over, uh, it'll be really small. So the temperature is 71.04 now. Uh, hopefully it starts picking up. The web UI updates every half second. I, obviously, I can do it a little faster, but I'm trying to save the web calls uh, for fun. So you got the idea. It's changing. It's heating. Uh, it's fast. I'll add setting temperature to this UI later, of course. Um, and here, let's turn it to the air conditioner to show how the delay works. Um, it's smart enough to wait, shut down the reversing valve, and then keep the air conditioner part on. Or I guess it's turning on the reversing valve. I don't really understand. I kind of had to reverse engineer it. Um, and here, this should start cooling in a second. Still blowing out hot air. Yeah, it's getting cool. This will be the boring part of the demo. Let's let it drop another couple of times. The temperature coming off the sensor is in the thousandth of a degree Celsius. Um, so it's 22.250, not 22.187 degrees Celsius. That posts up to the web app, which converts it to Celsius. I'm sorry, to Fahrenheit uh, for my web app. And that's it. I'll turn all this stuff off. That's one last bit of the demo. Again, there's a delay now on purpose. Thanks.